it's Dana. Welcome back to Decorate with Dana. I wanted to start off by saying Happy New Year. I have Miss Kova sitting down here, so if you see me like moving my hands, I'm petting Miss Kova. But I wanted to start out by saying Happy New Year. I hope you all had a great holiday season and a new Happy New Year. Um, I took a week off last week and it felt really good. I felt like it was just, I needed that time off to kind of recharge. It, was hitting the tripod to kind of recharge and just you know rest and gear up for this new year and I'm going to really work hard to try to put two to three videos out per week so I just needed that time to kind of plan it out to rest um, put my hair up in a bun every day and not have to worry about getting all ready. So it feels good. It feels like I am ready to start this new year and really just hopefully provide really good content for you guys. So thank you all for watching today. And I wanted to just start out 2022 with a winter decor haul. So I say winter, but a lot of this can be used all year. I have been doing a ton of decluttering. I am actually really proud of myself. All of my Christmas decor is down and I have saved um, four bins of stuff that I got rid of that I cleaned out of just Christmas alone. So I have four less bins that I have to put away this year and that feels so good. So my goal for 2022, as far as my decor, is to still feel beautiful, to still feel cozy, but to be on a much more minimal scale, adding a lot of textures and natural elements and pottery and all that fun stuff. So most of this decor is not just winter specific. I will be adding to other touches of winter like faux fur pillows and faux fur throws and rugs and that kind of thing to add coziness and texture and some stems and greenery. But I did not keep any of my winter decor up pretty much. Um, a couple little prints that I printed off of Etsy that were really just winter scenes or something. I do still have those out, but I put every tree away. I put everything away because even though I decorated very neutral this year, I just didn't want to have to worry about when winter was over putting it away. I wanted to just start fresh, take it all down, and then just decorate for things that can carry over and just add in a few things here and there that make it um, specific to that season. So that being said, I did stop in at Target and they had a little bit of their Studio McGee and Hearth and Hand new line coming in. It wasn't fully stocked, but I was able to pick up a few of those pieces that I really loved. I did share some, if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm gonna put my Instagram handle here. You should follow me over there. I did put some other pictures on my stories of some things that I found that I didn't necessarily purchase, but they were new items in the line. So I try to add those things to my stories and posts as well. So follow me over there if you're not already doing so. But then I also, there is a new, not new, I don't know how new it is actually, well, first of all, about a week or two before Christmas, an Instagram follower uh, sent me a message and said, I live in your area. There's a store that I think you're going to love. And it was just so funny because literally like two days before that, I had discovered this store and I fell in love with it. It was just all the items that I'm saying I want to start to decorate with pottery and rugs and pillows and all that kind of stuff very some very vintage looking and vintage inspired items that I absolutely love incorporating into my home. Some newer items that I also love incorporating into my home were all in this shop and it has quickly become my new favorite place to shop. I absolutely love it and I love the fact that it is just a little boutique -y type of store, small little store. So not everybody has the same thing. I mean, I still love my Hobby Lobby and Target, don't get me wrong. So it's nice to know that I can go into this store and I can pick something up and I feel like not everybody has this item. It's a little bit more unique. So I'm gonna share some things I picked up from there too and then maybe just some randoms. I did not get a lot, but I am really just focusing on pottery and decorating like my shelves, my open shelves in my kitchen and that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna share with you what I have picked up. So we'll start with Target and the new items that I found. 
Okay, so the first thing I found was this marble, so they call it a marble dish. It is the Threshold Designed with Studio McGee line. It is stunningly gorgeous. I love this dish. I think a pretty candle arrangement or something on here would be absolutely perfect by your sink with your soaps and your, um, <laughs> Cove is whining. You okay? Okay. Um, maybe by your kitchen sink or in your bathroom with some soaps or, you know, a cleaning brush or something I think would be so pretty. It is super heavy and it was $25. I think it looks way more expensive than that and very designer looking. The next thing I found was part of the new Hearth and Hand line, which was really pretty also, was just this little pitcher. It's just a stoneware pitcher. I love that it has kind of the rustic little tan, raw like stone at the bottom and then the glazed finish with just the tiniest little striping detail. I think this is so beautiful. This would even be nice with like next to your stove with some kitchen utensils or something in it. Super pretty. This was $14.99. Okay, so the next thing I picked up and this was the Threshold Designed with Studio McGee line were these two different sized resin boxes. I think they look super pretty stacked on top of each other. They incorporate the grayish kind of look and the tan. So, jeez. Okay, so they incorporate, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so they incorporate the grayish look and the tan look. So if you decorate in grays or tans, this would tie in but put on a shelf or something. I think this is absolutely perfect. On a coffee table to hold remotes or coasters or something that you don't want just necessarily sitting out all the time. So I thought these were really pretty. The smaller box was $20 and then the larger box was 25. So next from Amazon, Liz Marie Galvin has her new book out and this is Cozy White Cottage Seasons. So I just wanted to pick this up. If you've been around, you know I'm a sucker for coffee table books. I think that they're aesthetically pleasing. They look beautiful and yet they serve a purpose as well, which is really the kind of decor I usually like to go for. So I'm loving just flipping through this sitting while it's sitting on my coffee table, but it, yet it looks pretty also. So anything that I can have linked, I will have linked down in the description box. If I can find these pieces that I get from that little shop from somewhere else, I will also try to link those. I'm not sure, but I will see how that goes. So my birthday was on December 27th, and the only thing I asked for was the um, was an actual espresso machine where you pull the shots, you froth the milk. I absolutely love it, and I will be sharing that in my coffee bar video, which will probably be one of the first winter decorate videos. So I'm excited to show you because I've really changed the whole thing and I love, I love my morning coffee. I love my afternoon like espressos or something. It, it is, it's an art and it's a, there's a learning curve to it, but I think I've, you know, getting better and better each one I make and I am absolutely loving playing with it. So I did have two, I had already a couple of these little mugs from Pottery Barn. I absolutely love these. They are microwave and dishwasher safe. The stoneware look of these is absolutely gorgeous. So I already had two, but I should be getting four more delivered today. I think those will look really pretty on the hooks right behind the coffee bar. But more importantly, these are the absolute perfect size to fit under when I'm pulling the shot. A real tall mugs don't fit under there. So it's like the perfect size mug for making a cappuccino or espresso. And I think that they look gorgeous also. So the set of four I think was around $40, which is a tad bit pricey, but I will always keep these out and I use these every single day. So it was worth it to me. And I just think they look pretty. So I already had two and a set of four should be delivered to me at any time. Okay, the last item before I get into the little items from the boutique, I found this really pretty canvas from Lowe's. I think it's super pretty. It just to me looks like a winter scene, um, 
of trees and it's so, so pretty. And it was on the clearance. So it's an evergreen canvas, it's called. It's from Allen and Roth. I found it at Lowe's. My husband and I were there looking at something else and I happened to see this and it was on clearance for $23 and I think it's absolutely beautiful. So it is 29.75 inches by 21 inches. So, you know, it's a really good size for only being $23 and some change. So if I can find that, I will link that down below. But check out your local Lowe's because they've had, they had a lot of stuff that was on clearance and it was really nice home decor. All right, so now we're going to get into what I found at the shop. The first thing I found was this really pretty chunky bead garland. Now, I think this was intended in like to be Christmas garland on a tree, which would be absolutely beautiful but I did not even get it for that purpose. I had already had everything all decorated, so they had beautiful Christmas decorations, but I really was not looking for any Christmas decorations. This was only like a week before Christmas, so everything was decorated, but I love this. I think that this would be a pretty garland, like maybe draped over a mantle, but I think it would also be really pretty sticking out of one of your you know, bowls or something on a table. And I think that this is beautiful. So I'm excited to decorate with this. This was, this was $22. So if I can't find exact, I will try to maybe link even something similar down below. Another really pretty garland that I just loved that I thought was really pretty for winter, but not just Christmas specific was this wool, has the little wool balls and then the natural little wood beads in between. Again, I just think this is really pretty as like an accent on a shelf or again, draped across a mantle. And this was $18. So the next thing I got for one of my bathrooms was just this really pretty soap dish. This was $12, not much to say about this, but it's just a ceramic white soap dish. So then I absolutely fell in love with this really pretty little brush um, for like glasses and dishes, dish brush. It was $14, but I love the way that it looks. And it has super soft bristles, so I don't have to worry about it if I'm washing a pan with a non-stick finish or something. It will not harm any finish or scratch any of your dishes. So next I picked up this little tiny cutting board. I think how perfect would this look with like a little candle or something? I just loved it. Even propped against a backsplash, it's small, but if you layer it with other cutting boards or something, I think it would look really pretty. This was $12. And then the next thing I got was just this little creamer um, bowl. And I think this is so pretty. And this is was $12. Okay, so then my daughter had gone to this store with me and she saw me admiring a bunch of stuff. And I loved this creamer bowl. I think this is so pretty. Has the little wooden spoon and just, you know, the little indent so it can stay right in there. But I think this will look beautiful on the coffee bar. Again, it has like that raw stone finish down at the bottom and then a more glazed gray, almost the slightest tinge of blue, but not really. I mean, it's it's super, super pretty. I think this will look so pretty next to the coffee maker and the espresso machine. Anyways, my daughter bought this for me for Christmas, and I think it was around $10. So the next thing I got was just this little hanging basket. It is actually a little planter but I think this will look so cute on the hooks at the end of my island. And even if I put like a little rolling pin or something sticking out of this, I think that'll look really cute or just some kind of faux greenery. This was $14. Okay, so I could not resist this mug. I think this is so pretty with the little double handles. Again, the raw stone finish, the kind of tan speckled, finish on the top and this was $14. Okay, so the next thing that I got was this little pitcher. It is it is a perfect match with this little um, sugar bowl. And again, it's just so, so pretty. This was $29 sitting on my shelves in my kitchen. 
I think this will look perfect. And then just like I got the little square cutting board, I did get the little round one also. Again, perfect for a candle or next to your sink with your soap or something. This was $12. Okay, so I absolutely loved this little berry dish colander. Super pretty, looks very vintage-like. I like the little handle here. This was $16. Again, I'm loving the tan colors more now. Um, I think it just really warms up my space a lot. So I loved that. And then the last thing I picked up was this super pretty pot. I love the aged look of it. Looks very vintage. This pot was, I don't see the price. I think it was around $16. And then it had this really pretty greenery displayed in it. And I thought that looked super pretty. So this, I don't know. I, I can't remember what the whole thing together maybe came out to be like. $18, but I think that that's just perfect. And I absolutely love the way that that looks. Okay, my friends, that is going to wrap up this winter haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you got a little bit of inspiration and maybe some decorating ideas of how you can decorate for, you know, the winter seasons and just kind of warm up and cozy up your space. Super excited to get started with it for a few days now. All my Christmas decor has been down. So it has felt kind of freeing and refreshing not having anything up. However, now I'm like, okay, now I gotta like cozy up the space again a little bit. So it felt good to have a blank canvas and now I'm excited to get started with decorating again. So if you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I have big goals for this channel for, the, for 2022. So I would love all of your support and follow me again over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. Thank you all so much for watching. Happy New Year, and I will see you in my first winter decorating video.